Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio. We are going to start working in VR. And in this particular tutorial, we're gonna set up a VR project. So if you're ready to get creating, let's go. Okay, so here I am in the Oculus app. If you have your VR device, you just wanna make sure that's connected. I already have my Quest 2 connected and it is ready to go. What I wanna do is I want to go ahead and open up the Unity Hub. And then I want to go ahead and start a new project. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. And then Unity has already given us a VR core project. So I'm going to go ahead and install that project. If you don't have that template downloaded, go ahead and download it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just name this as VR core. All right, so there's a few things I want to set up first right away. One is I'm going to go ahead and go to the package manager and let's just take a look at the packages that are already installed. So with this VR core project, we have two VR packages that are already installed. We have both the Oculus XR plugin and the OpenXR plugin. And then we also have the XR management plugin as well. There's another package that I want to go ahead and install is the XR interaction toolkit. This is a group of interactions that will get you going in VR right away. So what we wanna do is to install that. If we go to our unit registry, and if you type in interaction, it's not gonna come up. So for us to be able to get to that package, we need to actually go to the add package. So I'm clicking on the plus icon, go to add, add package from get URL. So we're gonna go ahead and type in com.unity.xr dot interaction dot tool kit. Go ahead and click add and it's going to install that package. And then it's saying, hey, we need to make an update. That's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and click OK. And then now we have the interaction toolkit installed. Now, before we do anything else, there's also some samples and we want to grab these as well. So there's starter assets. So I'm going to go ahead and import the starter assets. And now that we have those installed, if you do not have an Oculus and you want to be able to test using VR without an Oculus or without a VR headset, then you can actually use the XR device simulator as well. So you can import that and then you can test VR within the Unity editor without having a device. So let's go ahead and close our package manager. And there's a few other things we need to set up. The first thing I want to do is to go to my samples. So if you look at samples, this is the samples that we imported and you go drill down to the very, very bottom you can see that there is five sets of input settings that we've imported. So there is continuous move, continuous turn, the left and right hand controllers, as well as snap turn. So what we need to do is we need to actually add those to our input manager. So let's just go ahead and add these actions. Now that we have these presets added, let's go ahead and go to our project settings. So we're gonna to go to edit, project settings, and I'm going to go into the preset manager and here are those presets that we've just added. And we want to make sure that we have both the left and the right controller actions set up and mapped to the left and right. So here we have our right controller under the action based controller. We just want to type in right. And then in the left, we want to also go ahead and type in left. All right. So now that we have that done, we're going to go down to the XR plugin management. So in XR plugin management, you can see that it's automatically selected open XR under the PC tab. And we also have a little warning here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that little warning. And it's going to show us that we need, we have a problem. We need to add an interaction. So I'm going to go ahead and hit edit. And then to add an interaction, you can see it takes us down to open XR. I'm going to go ahead and add an interaction for Oculus Touch. Now, you can also add others as well. So if you want to develop for the Vive or the Valve, you can do that too. I can just hit and add those. The other thing that I want to do here is change from the render mode from single pass to multi-pass. That way we're rendering for both eyes. And then under the Android tab, we are developing for Oculus. So let's go ahead and add Oculus. So this is going to allow me to connect my device directly to Unity and be able to play inside Unity. And then if you click on Oculus, you can choose which devices you want to target. In this case, both the Quest and Quest 2. So you can have both of those selected. Now we're done with the project settings. We can go ahead and close that. And then you can see we are already in a Unity scene. Now, this, this starts out with the XR rig. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that because it is a, an older version of the template. So let's go ahead and delete that. 
So we're starting off with a directional light and a plane. Now what we need to do is to add an XR origin. So I'm gonna right click or control click, go to XR and add an XR origin. Now there's two of those. There's one that's XR origin and XR origin action base. If we add XR origin only, it's just the headset and not the hands. But in this case, we wanna add our hands as well. So I'm gonna add XR origin action based. So what it does is it adds the XR origin and an XR interaction manager. So first let's take a look at the XR origin. So inside of here, there is a camera offset. So we don't want to move these because the headset's going to actually move those for us. So let's go in and you can see that inside the camera offset, there's a main camera. There's also a left-hand controller and a right-hand controller. And if you look at the left-hand controller and right-hand controller, it has the interactions already set up for those devices. Now, the next thing we want to do is to go to XR Interaction Manager and we need to add an input manager. So here are the inputs that we already have developed that are a part of the XR toolkit. We want to be able to use those. So for us to be able to use those, we need to add a new component on the XR interaction manager. So we're gonna add new component and we're just gonna add input action manager. And then we need to actually add this interaction, XRI interaction manager. So we're gonna click plus. We hit the little dot. This is the only input system that we have in our project. Go ahead and add that. And then you're ready to go. Let's just go ahead and add a cube in here so we have something to look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a 3D cube. And I'm just gonna move that out just a little bit. Let's just go ahead and reset this. And I'm gonna move it out in front just slightly so we have something to look at. And now if we have everything set up and our Oculus is already attached and running, then we can actually hit play and then put our headset on. And then now here we are in Unity. You can see that I have my pointers for both of my left and right hand and there is my cube way down there. So now we're all set up for VR. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and it's something you can use in your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.